Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we're on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. And as we read the Bible, I am writing a short devotional on each chapter and then sharing that with you. And today we're in John chapter 11. Do you have anything in your life that is binding you, holding you back from being the best version of you to the glory of God? In John chapter 11, verse 44, we read the last words of Jesus in this very famous story where Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. Here's the quote. The man who had died came forth bound hand and foot with wrappings and his face wrapped around with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. Whew. So easy to romanticize this story about the raising of Lazarus. And so when we do that, we miss the details. We forget there are implications here, okay? Lazarus was raised from the dead by Jesus. Praise God, what a miracle. But it took the community around Lazarus to practically, hands-on, unbind him from his burial wrap. The linen strips wrapped around his body and his face. Jesus commanded them, the community, to unbind him because Lazarus, even though he had just experienced a miracle of resurrection, being raised from the dead, Lazarus couldn't do it alone. Here are some practical applications. If we're going to participate with God in helping transform stories to the gospel of Jesus Christ, which means we're going to see people raised from the dead physically, I believe that's possible, but also in their relationships and their emotions and and, and their hurts, habits, and hangups, then we need to trust God to do what we can't, which is the miracle. We can't do any of those things. Only God can deliver, rescue, and heal people. But we have to do what we are called to do, what we're commanded to do. And that's we've got to work to help unbind people. All right, by taking off whatever it is that's holding them back. And we also got to allow people to unbind us from our burial wrap. Okay, so real quick, is there anything binding you? Is there anything covering your face like a veil that you can't see clearly or holding you back from being the best version of you? Do you need help getting unbound from some stinking thinking (laughs) or a habitual sin pattern in your life that's affecting your present and infecting your future? So seize the moment and get into a community. Be a part of a community like the one that came around Lazarus. And we can unbind one another first by forgiving each other often, every day, 70 times 7, because we're all going to make a mess of it. We're human. We have to help one another learn how to live as new creations in Christ, as men and women like Lazarus who have experienced a miracle of salvation. But upon following Jesus and receiving salvation, you enter Christian discipleship, which is doing life together. And we need one another in every season of our lives, seize the moment.